Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is an update on my CH376 uh, USB host here. Uh, mainly uh, intended to be used with a USB drive for hard drive purposes. Uh, real quick on the card, just got some decoding here for the chip and decoding here for the ROM. The ROM, I did not write. It comes from uh, HackFu's website. Um, the only change is I did change the address of the chip in the code so that it would be uh, pro properly addressed. Um, so this is the update is, and you're probably not going to be able to see it here. I changed the address of the chip. If you can catch it there, it's so 7E0 is the base address. Um, kind of went with that. It just seemed like a good address that, uh, was not used by too many other things. And as I suspected, it corrected all the problems on all the PCs I've tried this in, and it works in every PC that I own. So I'll show a demo here in a minute, uh, but I'll continue on with a little bit of the differences. So here's the one I made before. So other than the address i also moved the voltage regulator there back a little because it occurred to me that it would be touching the uh, bracket and the tab is uh voltage out so slid the, uh, the voltage regulator back and uh change the base io address um Probably make some of this available, maybe without a tab for a while, until I can get to cutting the hole. It's just a Keystone uh, 9202, uh, just a stock blank tab, like, and just end up cutting a hole. I've got to either find a sheet metal punch or a uh, or a millet out. So I'm going to go on to demo this in each one of my machines. So this is it running in an IBM 5150, I'm going to turn it on over the screen. So I've just got the jumper set to be uh, for the VGA card and then uh, floppy boot. I, I left that on. But I also set it so it didn't detect any floppy drives. Um, and there you go. It's booting DOS uh, 6.22 uh, on an IBM 5150. I don't have my keyboard plugged in, so uh, I won't be able to type anything. So on this, is it booting on this uh, 486 that I have? I don't have the keyboard plugged in this one either, so we're going to have to wait for the memory count here. Um, I didn't change anything in the BIOS settings. Uh, it, it just takes a bit to load. The existing hard drive is still in there connected to its card as well. Um, it seems like this overrides all of that. So the LEDs turn on on and off on the board during this phase of the uh, boot up. Uh, so that's pretty normal if you see that on yours. All right, and say so I don't have the keyboard connected, so I can't type, but you can see it's the same uh, boot up that I had before with the mouse that's not there. So this is in my homemade PC. Um, it took a minute to troubleshoot it. I thought maybe there's some errors, but it was actually just BIOS issues. Uh, the uh, regular BIOS on the processor here uh, wasn't set up correctly. But I do have the keyboard attached on this one, so I can type. 
but that's it booting. You can see there is not the uh, USB in the side there and the card is installed. Here we've got the PC-104 with the uh, adapter I made. Plug it in the pin header. I'll see if we can get the get escape. I do have the keyboard connected on this one. And you can see the LED comes on. The LED on the uh, USB drive is working. Um, it's a little bit slower here for a minute. Uh, I do like this better than the disk on chip though, uh, mainly because it's removable and you can add and subtract files as needed. There you go. Keyboard works. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my video today. And uh, if you made it this far, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.